Like Jesus entered our world to show us the Father, we need to enter the lives of others to show them Jesus. So the question is, what are you going to do today? What are you going to do this week to represent Christ to this world, to this community, to your family? So hopefully as we've gone throughout this series so far, you've seen that the Old Testament continually pointed to Jesus. And today I hope you're also seeing that our lives are continually to be pointing to Jesus as well. So who is this Jesus then? Who is this baby that was born in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago that we so often celebrate at Christmas? Well, he was right there in the Old Testament. He is the second person when God says, let us make man in our, in our image. He is the offspring of the woman who crushes the head of the serpent Satan in Genesis 3. He is the one who shuts the door to Noah's ark. He is Melchizedek to whom Abraham bowed and tithed to worship. He is the visitor who told Sarah that she was going to have a son. He is the wrestler who touched the hip of Jacob at Bethel. He is the dream interpreter of Joseph. He is the blood of the lamb of Moses' Passover. He is the captain of the Lord of hosts for Joshua. He is the shepherd of David. He is the mighty God, the everlasting father, and the prince of peace of Isaiah. He is the driver of Elijah's chariot of fire. He is the fourth person in the fiery furnace with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He is the closer of the lion's mouth for Daniel. He is the breath of Ezekiel's dry bones. He is the forgiver of sins and the forgetter of unrighteousness in Jeremiah. He is the messenger of the new covenant that we desire in Malachi. He is the son of David, the son of Mary, the son of God. He is the word made flesh, the light and life of the world. He is the one and only son who is God himself. He is Jesus Christ, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. But the question is, who is he to you?